Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, what it do, bitty babe? <laughs> Before we even get this video started, give this video a big thumbs up because if you clicked on this video and didn't like it from the jump, what are you doing? So as you see from the title of this video, today is Monday and you know your girl bring y'all Military Monday videos. So today I'm bringing y'all a everyday makeup routine because I do get a lot of questions, what we're going to jump right into now. In three, fuck this little two, one. Before we continue into this video, I'm going to be answering my three top most asked questions that I literally get on a daily basis. For one, if you are not in the US Army, do not listen to not jack billy squat about anything that i'm telling you because i don't know about any other branch so for the first question it's can we wear makeup in basic training first of all i wouldn't even want to wear makeup in basic training because do you know what basic training consists of but to answer no so basically the clothes and makeup and all these products that you think you're going to bring to basic training you're not they're going to take your civilian things pack them away in a little closet and all of your things will go in there all your makeup all your civilian clothes all of that will be gone for the first two months my second question i get asked is can we wear makeup in ait no i know you cannot wear makeup and ait you're gonna have to do real good sneaking that junk in there and it's i'm pretty sure you can have it because they have a mail system where you can order things and bring them in for your gold pass and for the last question can we wear makeup at our unit so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in there so i'm gonna give you a little insight so like a little bonus so before you even join the army go ahead and read ar670-1 chapter 3-2 B, I'm pretty sure my chain of command looking at this video like, dang, she know the ARs and the regulation, but still fails to comply. I'm one of them. I am one of them because I know my ARs, I know my regulation, but I'm here not to get y'all in trouble. I'm here to bring y'all facts. So when you review AR 670-1 chapter 3-2B, it will review all of the cosmetics, how you can wear your makeup in uniform, outside of uniform. For real, y'all not finna tell me what I can't wear outside of uniform. If I'm not like personally bashing the army or XYZ the army, you should not worry about me. But yes, apparently in AR670, you cannot wear any provocative clothing. You cannot wear clothing with cursing on it. You cannot wear explicit colors, X, Y, Z, that will make the army look less professional. The regulation cannot be taken from, but it can be added on. So everything is to your company commander's discretion. What she say goes may not go for my unit, what my unit or he, what my unit say goes may not go for your unit. So say I wanna pop out with some little bougie lashes and xyz your company commander gonna see me like my company commander gonna be like oh okay that's totally fine and then you try to like pop off in your unit and your company commander is like why are you wearing that but yeah that's pretty much about it i'm sure that answered the question i didn't really beat around the bush but i felt like i did but i'm just so let's get into the video so i did go ahead and already go do my eyebrows off camera because quite frankly these are what takes the longest and today they're a bit bigger than I normally do them. The tail of my eyebrow grew back, so I kind of have to follow it until I cut it off again. BTW, this is not allowed in uniform, nor outside of uniform, but I just got it and I can't take it. And I can't take it out for it to work, so I cover it with a band-aid. So when y'all are watching this video, ignore that because this is my bad side and this is my so i will be labeling all the products that i use here on the bottom of my screen in case y'all want to know what i use so now i'm just bringing y'all a voiceover something i've never done before but now i'm about to go in with this smashbox studio 15 hour hydrating foundation i do put them in four sections and i drop my pencil but okay so I'm about to just let it blend with this janky brush that I got from e.l.f. Don't know why. So 
So then I'm taking my infallible total coverage 24 hour foundation. Probably should get a concealer, but <laughs> then I'm going to spread it under my eyes lightly on my forehead, my chin, my top lip and my nose. Then we're going to take our fluffy duffy blender and blend it. Then I'm going to take this darker foundation that is a 375 Java from Fit Me and I'm just going to use it as a contour because girl my contour game just started and this is the best I can do. And then we're going to take the bottom of the beauty blender and boop. So here I'm about to just go in with my mineral powder because I can never just seem to find the right setting powder and this just will soak up all the oil because I'm oily like bad and then it's hot out here in Texas so I do sweat a lot and this just helps it. So when I do my foundation, I always cover up this one mole I have on my face. So I just go back and fill it in and I always add an extra one just for design, period. So now I'm just going in to do my eyeliner. I am doing it with one hand, so don't jank me on if it's crooked or doesn't match the other one. I tried. So then I take my Lots of Lashes by Maybelline and I put it on only my top lashes because this is my thickest one and I think it's old. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with my Black is Black Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline as well. And just go over it to kind of spread out the lashes and to do my bottom ones. So I never use an actual highlight. I just go in with my LA Colors palette and I take the shiniest one and put it on my nose, cheeks, and underneath my eyebrows to give it that effect. So on my lips, I go in with my LA Colors blackest eyebrow pencil and I fill in just my top lip. I sometimes do my bottom one, which I'm about to do here. And then I add my nude lipstick that I'm not sure where it is right now, but I'm definitely going to label it at the bottom of the screen. And I just kind of dab it and blend. But for some reason, it's turned gray. Okay. So I had to use an alternative. I had to use Vaseline because I just realized I ran out of lip gloss. So this is not my everyday lip combo. It's normally more like a chocolatey 
glossy look but this is like a don't know how to mix colors okay so never mind ignore all of that but this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching this video drop in the comment section something that you would like to see next for military monday any questions or leave them in my instagram dm i'm hungry like comment share and subscribe go ahead and share this video with your friends families mothers cousins brothers anybody and i will see y'all in my next video